Hey everybody, I'm Joe Price, Wilderness Skills Instructor with In Forest and Lands, and as always, behind the camera, pushing buttons, is Ina Olsen. Hello everyone. And she is legit the brains of this entire operation. But what we want to show you today in this video is the fastest way that I've found to set up a plow point in less than 10 minutes. So stick around. So as always, we need to know what we need, and like with most tarp setups, we are going to need our three by three meter or our square tarp. We're going to need our 10 stakes. For this one, you're going to need four at a minimum, and you can use more, but four at a minimum. And of course, some cordage or our ridge line. When you start out with your plow point, the best thing to start with, uh, with like with all ridge lines, is the tree. It's all about how you approach the tree. You gotta ask the tree for its consent. Don't approach it from the west or the east and be mean to it, but approach the tree and measure it up. Most ridge lines, anything thicker than this is going to cause you problems because you're going to have to embrace the tree and get your ridge line around it. So this is about as thick as I would like to go. For your plow point, but like we said in our previous videos, you should either start hip height or you should start eye level. And for the plow point, we are going to start eye level or head level. Take your ridge line, you're going to come around the tree and you're going to come back and meet your ridge line. You can secure it in any way you want, but I always just use a 10 stake, these ABS ones with my hook that I like so much. Make it all nice, fix it, and then you can just leave this hanging there for the time being. So the plow point is laid out in a diamond shape. And like we've mentioned before, best practice is to get to know your tarp. For our A-frame shelter, we used our center point here, our double stitch seam, the middle of our tarp. For a diamond setup, we are going to come to the corner this 90 degree angle you see here is the corner of our tarp. We're going to take one corner and lay it on the ground. Then what we are going to do is find the other corner, the transverse corner. Which I always have marked for my plow points. And stretch that out to where the tarp is nice and long. So first things first. Like I always say, you need to start off on the right place and everything would be easier. When it comes to plow points, some people prefer to attach it to the tree first and then stake it out. But I find that can be a bit fiddly. So what I like to do is take this corner, put it into the ground first, and then walk back towards my tree. So as always, we take a 10 stake, slide it up into the notch, take the flat bit here on the back, 45 degree angle, and into the ground. So what I like to do is a little bit different than I see in most videos, but I like to use the Prusik loops on my ridge line. Rather than having to take the time to create a Marlin spike hitch, I'll simply attach this, like the way we did in our A-frame shelter video, like so, and I will pull my tarp tight. And you will see, if I have not been lost in this shot, that that gives us our tension and lets us start our plow point. And you can see that's why I prefer to do it in the way that I do it, because that is the fastest way I've seen to set up a plow point the first time, the right time. Doing it any other way means that you've got to come back and take this out, you've got to readjust the tree, you've got to readjust this, and I'll show you later on in the video how we can do speed adjustments when we need. But when you have your ground stake take there, and you've got it attached to the tree, you want to follow this line here to your other corner, your other 90-90, and repeat the process. 10 stake goes in, up to the hook, 45 degree angle, into the ground, and let it rest. If you need to be adjusted, it can. I'm always looking for this super tight tension across my tarp. I wanted to add another sprucey bonus for those who are out and about and on their own. And that's how I actually kind of came up with this configuration. Because before Ada, I was a terrible lonely man. <laughs> but then what I like to do and why I have it set up like this is this is what I refer to as my third hand. Because you've got to work this big tarp, it could be windy, it could be raining. So you need something to constantly hold it tight. So say for example, even though mine is set up perfectly, if I needed to adjust the door because wind was coming in or I wanted more tension on my tarp, rather than having to take a marlin spike on, a marlin spike off, or readjust it on my ridge line, my third hand allows me to do that. I just hold my ridge line tight and I can slide the Prusik down to where I need it to be. This keeps my plow point in position, and then I can readjust my stakes as I go, one at a time, no fuss, no muss, and allow us for very fast adjustment and the height of your door to be adjusted willy-nilly. But a third hand, that's what Prusik loops are meant to be, and use them as so, and that's a great one for when you're setting up plow points. So as we would say in Ireland, shin A, that's it. This is the fastest way that I have found to set up a plow point in less than 10 minutes, give you plenty of open space and nice tight tarps. 
Thank you for joining us in this video. As always, please feel free to check out our partners and all our social media links below. Subscribe and hit the like button and all that stuff that people talk about. But it really helps us out and support this channel. So until the next video, from me and Ada, peace.